Media tweeted the picture of an 82-year-old man who fought off a burglar who attacked his wife in their home. He t he'll tell us how it all went down coming up at 5. Former President Obama tweeted a Memorial Day thank you to the servicemen and women who died fighting for our nation. President Trump also paid his respects, laying a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In Washington and around the country, there were reminders that this holiday isn't about beach trips and barbecues, but fallen heroes. ABC News reporter Megan Hughes is live in Washington. Megan. Um, a good afternoon, President Trump, exactly as you said, staying on script today and really staying out of the political fray as he interacted with grieving families. Gold Star families lining up at Arlington National Cemetery to tell President Donald Trump their stories. He's looking down, he's very tough. Thank you so much. And if you could remember just Jimmy, that would mean so much to me. Trump seemed to put behind him that campaign feud with the Khan family, Muslim American Gold Star parents. Every Gold Star family, God is with you. Trump laying a wreath, observing a moment of silence, and honoring the fallen. While across the country, from the hill of flags at Boston Common to the motorcycle group Rolling Thunder rolling through Washington to a small town parade in upstate New York, signs of gratitude for sacrifice. Trump's former political foe Hillary Clinton parading there with her husband wouldn't talk politics. I think it's important to honor everyone who um, sacrificed their lives in pursuit of our rights, our values, our freedom. Vice President Mike Pence welcoming a group of wounded war and first responders on bicycles at his home. This is a day we remember those who served and did not come home. And on board the USS Intrepid in New York City, a 100-foot American flag, a rifle salute, and a raw sense of loss. After a Navy SEAL's parachute failed to open during a Fleet Week jump over the Hudson River just yesterday. This has been a Fleet Week that started with such joy. It's Fleet Week ends, it ends with deep, deep sorrow. At that event on board the Intrepid, Jersey City first responders were 